Hello and welcome. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, transfer some ISOs to my Proxmox. So this is my virtual machine. I'm playing with this. Uh, so these are all of my virtual machines. I strongly recommend anybody who can afford uh, get uh, the setup. It helps you tremendously uh, with all your labs. Um, so to upload your ISOs, first you download on your virtual, oh sorry, your actual host hard drive. Then go to your Proxmox in your local uh, desk. This is, and go to ISO images. So I have a bunch of messages, uh, ISOs images already here. I'm gonna add some more. Uh, you can, I uh, believe you can directly download from URL here. I haven't tried it yet. So to upload, you go and select the file. So click here and you have all the ISO. So you can see if I can show you, I have a bunch of them already. I have CentOS there. I don't have Debian. I don't have Kali Purple. I don't have PFSense there. I believe I don't have Red Hat. Yeah. And I have all three windows and TrueNAS. TrueNAS is already there, Windows 3, Cali. All right, so let's go uh, with Debian. All you have to do is just that. Uh, if you want to rename it, you can rename it here. I'm going to leave it to uh, default, just upload. So since it's going from this machine to another machine, uh, the only bottleneck I can say is uh, the network because the here it's stored on a SSD over there it's going to have even a faster SSD so this only is I believe it's only because of the uh, physical uh, copper that's the bottleneck here because when it was connected um, I moved it to another room so when it was uh, sitting on this desk, same desk, uh, the only distance was about uh, a meter uh, with a switch in between. Uh, it was a lot faster. So you can see it's going in. I have task OK. All I have to do is close it, and that's how I up, uh, upload ISOs. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload the other ISOs as well. All right, so I'm uploading now CentOS Stream 9. It will be fun to uh, install this and then do a side-by-side -side comparison with CentOS 7. All right, so this one is done as well. Let's go ahead and upload next one. Send to the Kali Purple. All right, Kelly Purple is done. Let's go with PFSense. All right, let's go with Red Hat Linux. I have true acid now. All right, so this, all of my ISOs are done uploaded this is how you upload your isos and next is just easy uh, you go ahead and start creating your virtual machines through these isos hopefully this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one